Hi guys, for my Mythbuster project, I'm going to be doing something called Lipstick Wars. <clears throat> and so, my myth is that people say that Clinique lipstick, um, anything Clinique that can do anything to your face, will, <clears throat> sorry, will stay on longer. But I believe that MAC will stay on. Okay, so my step one is to buy all the lipsticks and that's what I have done and they were all bought around the same time so they are all um, new. The first lipstick is Clinique and um, this is the lipstick that everyone thinks will stay on the longest which I actually disagree with but the reason why is because this is like more of a natural lipstick. Um, yeah you can kind of read that. Um, okay and then the next lipstick is M MAC. But I think this one is going to stay on the longest um, just because of high quality and the different ratings. And last but not least, we have Bobbi Brown. And um, this one, I think I'm not totally sure that it's going to stay on the longest, but we'll see. Um, so basically, step two is to... Um, get the lipsticks and either I would apply them to my lips and put them on a piece of paper but I have decided to do an easier route but also that is it'll come out more clear because if I put one lipstick on my face and I put another one then if that first lipstick isn't totally off well, then, you know, that's not fair to the next lipstick because then they have, like, a better chance of winning. So, basically, I smeared it, and I did one, two, three by smearing. And uh, then, you know, my step three is just to let it wait and air dry. Now that I have let my things dry out, now it's time for step four, which is to wait. <laughs> step spot three will come tomorrow. Okay, so I'm going to take my paper, and I'm going to take my damn um, paper towel, and I'm going to press that five on each. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so... I'm starting to feel these. Basically, nothing happened except the mat got a little bit wet. Basically, okay. So now step six is to let this air out and dry. Now, steps seven and eight. Um, seven is to look at them, touch, like rub my finger over it, just to make sure, like, if anything could um. Uh, could, like wipe off if it was just sticking and then step eight was just to see like um you know how many um I mean like how much and so this is my paper in the end and um as you can see Clinique obviously won Bobby Brown coming in second and Matt coming in third okay guys so in the end I realized that I I was wrong. My hypothesis was wrong. Um, so, I mean, yeah, that happens. Um, that Clinique does stay on the longest, uh, as you can see. Um, so, basically, Clinique won in the end. And uh, I can, I'll show you the piece of paper. See, Mac let me down, but that is okay. Um, I mean, I thought this go wrong sometimes, but anyways, my, uh, independent variable was lipstick, my dependent variable was how many streaks I did, the piece of paper, how thick the lipstick was, I had nothing to, um, um, make this go differently, um, and, uh, yeah, the, uh, materials that I used were, um, some water. Um, a paper towel, lipstick, paper, some markers to decorate, everything. Um, but yeah, basically I had a lot of fun with this project and um, this has been a great experience for me.
even though my hypothesis was wrong. But uh, thank you. Um, I am the producer of this video and of the project. Um, I uh, the materials that I used was um, a paper towel, some wet water. Um, Oh my gosh, I did it again. <laughs> well water. Okay, this time I'm not gonna mess up, right? No, no, no. I'm not gonna say wet water. This time I'm gonna use dry water. <laughs> oh my gosh, the camera's rolling. Now steps two and three. Oh wait, two and three. <laughs> Sorry. I'll see you all later. Oh wait, I see you now.